Hey, what's up? So this video is one that I probably didn't have to make, but I figured I would. Recently, I got a strike on my channel for a video I would made years ago. I've taken it down as well as many other videos because I don't want any further strikes or potential copyright claims. This video is going to be one where I break the fourth wall for a bit and talk about behind the scenes, and if that doesn't interest you, I don't blame you. That's right, folks. It's going to be a meg episode. Stick around for the fun. Here's the clicker. No one would blame you. If you've been subscribed for a while, you'll know my content has changed over the years, starting with shitpost memes and half-hearted let's plays, then transitioning into music before landing at where I am now talking about cartoons. Why I wanted to become a YouTuber wasn't to become rich and famous, but I wanted to have an online catalog of my life. In high school, I took photography class because I love photography, and I still do. To capture a moment in time and be able to look back at it later and relive the moment or have a new perspective on it is wonderful, and I blame my mom for making scrapbooks when I was a kid. But after doing the photo thing for a while and realizing with how good most phone cameras are nowadays, you either need to be established or get enough pity bookings by friends and family to build a good enough portfolio. This is when I decided to focus on video. It's fairly easy to take a passable photo, but with video you're making a commitment of time to watch it, so even bad or mediocre video sticks out like a sore thumb. This is because an image is worth a thousand words, and video is a series of multiple images Per second, so mathematically, you can do more with video than you can with photography. Video as a format is also leagues ahead of photography when it comes to home movies, birthday parties, weddings, and other events you want to catalog and return to later. I started making videos because I wanted to have my own online scrapbook. This went fine for a few years, but then around 2016 to 2017, things started to change. Policy updates to the platform would render previous videos unsuitable, and copyright claims would become a plague. If you really want to know why I got my most recent strike, it was because in one of my Scooby-Doo YTPs, I used audio of Keemstar saying the gamer word, and I got a strike for hate speech. What's done is done, and looking at it from the outside, it doesn't look good, but when you take into consideration that Keemstar's a lol cow and his gamer word moment was a meme for a while, and the character saying it was a baby chicken in a Scooby-Doo cartoon, it should be obvious that it wasn't hate speech, it was a meme. But YouTube uses automated quality control, which leaves no room for nuance. Because because of the strike, I've taken down many of my old videos and this hurt to do because I was basically ripping pages out of my own scrapbook. I still have the master files for most of the videos I've made, but with them being spread out between multiple hard drives and SD cards, I don't really know how many I actually have. This brings me to the point of this whole video, and that's Patreon. I've thought about opening one for a while, but I didn't really have anything to offer until now. I'll be opening a Patreon, and it should be live by the time this video comes out, and it'll be linked in the description. Starting out, there will only be a donation tier, and this is because to be able to do more on the platform, I would have to pay monthly, and that's just not in the budget right now. But if you want to show your support and get access to behind-the-scenes updates, as well as credit in all of my videos, go check out the Patreon. Patreon. Eventually, I'll have early drops on videos coming out, as well as Patreon-only live streams and my entire catalog of videos, from now-deleted videos to never-before-seen videos. Anyway, I know this video wasn't like my others, and if you've made it this far, thank you for listening to me bitch and moan for a few minutes. Even if you don't subscribe to me on Patreon, I still thank you for watching my videos. I started making videos for me, and seeing thousands of people come from around the web to visit my little corner of YouTube is still a new feeling, but I'm glad you guys like my content. Until next time, Later.